We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. So on November 6th, it was announced that Meek Mill was sentenced to jail time. So what basically happened is that Meek Mill was sentenced to two to four years in state prison for failing a drug test and for leaving town without permission, which are both violations of his terms of probation for a nearly 10-year-old gun and drug case, okay? So we know that Meek Mill has been on probation forever and a day, and he basically violated it. And it's causing a lot of controversy online. You see a lot of folks upset. They're blaming racism. They're blaming the system. They're saying, you know, a white man can rape somebody and get six months. Another white man can do something and get less time. All this black man did was some drugs. He left town, and you guys are trying to give him two to four years. That's bullshit. We've had folks like Kevin Hart come out and show him some love because we know that they're both from Philly. T.I. has also spoken out about the situation, how unfair it is. Um, a lot of celebrities have taken his social media to have Meek Mill's back. But the most prominent person who's speaking out is Jay-Z. And rumor also has it that supposedly the judge on the case, the judge on the case supposedly wanted Meek Mill off of Rock Nation and to get one and to sign to her friends' record label and Meek Mill refused. So now there's all types of conspiracies about that. Um, so the whole situation is interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what Jay-Z had to say about the situation. Jay-Z says the sentence handed down by the judge against the recommendation of the assistant district attorney and probation officer is just unjust and heavy. Heavy handed. We will always stand and support Meek Mill, both as he attempts to, to write this wrongful sentence and then in returning to his music career. Do I think the sentence was heavy handed? Possibly. But at the end of the day, I see a lot of people blaming the system. They're blaming the white man. You know, this is all a conspiracy to lock down rich black men. But I've seen, I've really seen anybody talk about personal responsibility. I see a lot of folks making excuses for Meek Mill. But what I find funny is that even if you Google Meek Mill locked up or Meek Mill arrested, he's been arrested numerous times for different violations and they've constantly given him chance after chance. In August of this year, he was reportedly arrested for riding his ATV um, through the Inwood section of New York. He was driving dangerously. Um, so then he got arrested for that. Then we had the whole assault situation that happened at the St. Louis airport where he got into a fight for that. Not to mention the whole drama that happened with him and Safari. You know, I'm sure his probation officer was watching that as well. So Meek has been in a lot of trouble over the past few years. I'm just saying. Now, I understand that when a rich white person commits a crime, the criminal justice system does look at them completely different as opposed to when black folks commit a crime, even if a black person is wealthy, a lot of them will still get time. So I understand the whole systemic you know, issue that people have with the sentence, but at the end of the day, if we all know that the system is biased, okay, we all know this. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to see that the system is biased. So with that knowledge, I'm confused as to why we keep setting ourselves up for failure. Why we keep getting ourselves in stupid situations to one, be on probation, because probation is just nothing more than, okay, we're going to give you a chance right now because we know you're going to fuck up sometime in the future. Who the hell sits on probation for 10 years? You get what I'm saying? So if we all know this is happening, why are we still setting ourselves up for the okie doke? Why is there no personal responsibility? So who forced Meek Mill, you know what I'm saying, to take drugs and fail his drug test? Was that the white man who put the damn blunt to his lips or whatever the hell got caught up in his system? And then the other charge was he left town without permission, which was also a violation of probation. So, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. If you know you're on probation, you know the system is biased. They don't play when it comes to black men in the system. Why would you set yourself up for the okie doke? At any point in time, Meek Mill could have got this cleared to go out of town. They probably would have did it for him just because he is a famous rapper. He has shows to do and all types of things. It's not like he's just your regular smuggler Jamal Brown on the street trying to go out of town. They would have made a reprieve for Meek Mill to leave to go do what he wanted to do. But for some reason, Meek Mill got comfortable. He thought he was a big enough star where he didn't have to check in. He didn't have to tell them where he was going. And he just got his damn nigga wake up reminder call that no, I don't care how much money you have. We don't care that you're a rapper. We don't care how world famous you are. We will put you in your place. 
case. So like I said, while I don't think that his sentence is fair, you know, two to four years is a long time for what he violated. But at the end of the day, I also have to look at it from a personal responsibility point of view. If you have a certain amount of time hanging over your head, you have to do everything that you can do to make sure that you do not violate probation because you know these folks don't play. They do not play when it comes to people of color, especially black men. Another point I wanna bring up is that I know in a few videos ago when I was talking about all this stuff that was going on with Harvey Weinstein and you know how he's able to get away with all this nonsense and how the reason why he was able to is because people are so enamored with fame and celebrity and we're raising a whole generation of children that you know they wanna be famous, they wanna be rappers, they wanna be entertainers, they wanna be ball players. And see, that's the problem that Jay-Z doesn't realize, that it's a lot deeper than it just being an issue with the district attorney. And that's one thing that I wish that Jay-Z, Hotep Carter would touch on. The fact that, you know, we're raising an entire generation of kids to look up to the Meek Mills and the Jay-Zs and to aspire to be rappers, but we're not raising this next generation of kids to be lawyers, to be DAs, to be judges. The reason why so many black men get railroaded in the criminal justice system, personal responsibility aside, okay, I already addressed that. Personal responsibility aside, the reason why so many of them get railroaded is because there's no one who looks like us in these courtrooms. There's no one who looks like us who's defending us. There's, there's not a lot of judges who look like us. There's not a lot of attorneys who look like us. So when somebody like a Meek Mill or Jamal Brown goes into the courtroom, they're not going to have that same level of empathy because it's two different races. You know, y'all can talk all that kumbaya bullshit that I don't see color and, you know, there's no color in the world and there's no such thing as black and white and, you know, I love everybody, whatever. When it comes down to it, people see color. I know I see color every damn day. People see color. People who work in the criminal justice system definitely see color. And we need to address the bigger picture. This is bigger than Meek Mill going in to go do two to four years. This is also an issue where we don't have enough of us in these courtrooms, you know what I'm saying, giving us second chances and fighting for us. It seems like nobody really wants to address that issue. Everybody wants to scream about racism. But again, what are we going to do to change that? Because screaming about racism and saying that, you know, his sentence isn't fair and, you know, he's a good rapper, so he shouldn't have to do any time. I mean, that's fine and dandy. You have the right to your opinion. But again, how do we resolve this? What is the solution? And my thing is we're raising an entire generation who's more obsessed with being like a meek mill than being like the DA. And that to me is the heart of the problem. But again, who am I? I'm just a YouTuber. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.